long into the night, Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar began. Yeah, we had Kane out there uh, bullshitting the attendance as a politician. Got to mention that. That's very important to get that on TV. Yeah, yeah. Roman Reigns takes an hour to get to the ring. Brock Lesnar then, as I noted earlier, found a tractor, drove, drove the tractor to ringside. Your tractors are useful tools. They're good for moving things around, including wrestling rings, we later found out. But uh, very, very handy. You know what they're not noted for? Speed! This Fair. thing's inching to the ring. We're well, pa well past the three-hour mark in this show. <laughs> I'm bored out of my skull. The last hour plus of this show has sucked. I watched this tractor. A tractor. He got to plow a damn field in the time it took him to get to this ring. The funny thing was this tractor had Brock's logo on it, so I envisioned that he drove it there. Oh, Christ. No way. No. <laughs> There's no way a tr this tractor could have driven from Saskatchewan to Tennessee in the year 2022. <laughs> That's not a chance. <laughs> I should mention, by the way, that he still got that tractor to the ring faster than a Roman walked. That's fair. So eventually the match began. All right. I will just ask this first question. Am I the only one who didn't like this? I think so. Okay. That's fair. Listen. I, I, I enjoyed it for what it was. It was, uh, it was obviously a spectacle. And if you just want to see a big, giant spectacle, and that made you happy, I'm happy for you. Uh, I'm willing to admit that, uh, that uh, my view is contrarian. I'm in the minority. And that doesn't mean you have to agree with me. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not going to try to ruin your night. I just want you to enjoy the main event as you enjoyed it. I can just give you my opinion of why. I didn't enjoy it as much as I enjoyed some other match. But you know why, Vinny? If they would have started this match an hour earlier, you would have really liked it. It would have helped. The last hour of this show dragged. It fucking dragged and dragged, and it was hot up in that loft, and we're just wanting this fucking thing to get on the road, and they just kept stalling and stalling and stalling and stalling. And by the time the match started, it was like, fuck, dude. So it's just, if this would have been the main event of... A New Japan show, an AEW show, any fucking show that doesn't have 40 minutes of dead time prior to this match, you would have liked it. So it's all about the tractor. They're hitting each other with things. They're doing suplexes on the floor. They're doing F5s on the floor or, or whatever. They're throwing each other in the steel. They're beating the hell out of each other. That's obvious. They're, they are beating the hell out of each other. And every once in a while, Brock leaves the match to go fuck with the tractor some more. It's too <laughs> far away. It's too close. The lift is too high. The lift is too low. So with the, the fucking tractor finally gets involved, here is the spot. <laughs> Roman's helpless, right? He can't stand here in this last man standing match. But Brock takes him over. He puts him in the uh, scoop thingy of the tractor, and he gets in the tractor, and this, of course, takes some time. And he raises Roman up in the tractor. <laughs> and this, again, tractors, not, not, speedy, not speedy vehicles. This takes some time to lift Roman up there. And he inches the tractor back close to the ring. So now the scoop part is over the ring. And then he goes to dump Roman out of the scoop into, uh, the, uh, in, into the ring there. And I'm looking at this like, okay, this is, uh, is going to be... If he, if he falls from here, this would be like, like taking a superplex or giving it a superplex. It's, it's a big bump. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Roman just rolls out of the scoop and like lands on his feet and slumps to the floor. I'm like, <laughs> well, the, that, that's it. It that's was way up in the air, but as the thing lowered, the more that it lowered to dump him out, the closer he got to the mat. So <laughs> yeah. he only fell like three feet. Yes. And to their credit, they had a guy that may have been laying on his back down on the ground. He's shooting straight up like this to try to make it look like he fell really far. But uh, yeah, that was uh, okay. So the 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 loader actually moves on a hinge, and then there's the arm. So he could have just dumped Roman out at like the 14 foot mark or whatever. Yeah, let's but not no. do that with Roman Reigns. Let's not drop I, him from 14 right. fucking feet. But it was obvious that that Brock lowered the arm down and then dumped the the loader. That's the problem. It it, yeah. it looked like he was trying to set him down gently. Correct. That's not good. It's not good if you're doing that with a power slam. It's not good if you're dropping a guy out of a tractor. So. Let's see, what else? Uh, Ro Brock Lesnar choked Roman Reigns unconscious with a guillotine, yet did not win the last man standing match. Don't ask me Correct. how that, I, that. That's what happened. That happened. Uh, Brock used Yeah, the, the dude was unconscious. Yeah, he's dead. He, he's, he yeah. could have been killed, and the referee was still going to count to 10. Yes. Ridiculous. Yes. 
And uh, so Brock goes to the tractor again. He lifts up a corner of the ring. This is all anyone is going to remember from this in 20 years is uh, this ring, the corner of the ring being lifted up. And I don't know. I can't imagine they actually practiced this. They must have like, lifted the ring just to make sure the ring wouldn't snap in two. But uh, Roman did a great job of waiting for, for as long as he could. He stood in the ring before stumbling backwards and rolling out to the floor. And then they just left it up for another 15 minutes so that half of the ringside area couldn't see anything. Because they all doing the stuff on the other side of the ring. You couldn't do anything in the ring. It's up in the air now. Um, they did a bunch of stuff. The Usos run out. There's tons of interference. Eventually, Paul Heyman goes to the table. All the bodies are down. Austin Theory runs down, teases a cash in, but Brock kicks his ass. This they fucked this up. They fucked it up. All they had to do was wait until they were both down. Then Theory comes out to cash in because he wants to win while they're both down. It's last man standing. So he should come out at eight, cash in, stand there for two seconds and become the new champion. But of course, they didn't want to make him the champion. But still, he came, he should have come out when both of them were down. Instead, he came out when Roman was down. And he's trying to give the thing to the referee. And Brock just comes up and goes, ba-bam, and kills the guy. Yeah, that was the end of him. That was a whole Austin Theory spot after all those weeks. Yeah, yeah. So Brock is still fighting three on one, and Roman keeps spearing him and pummeling with his briefcase and hitting him with a belt, and Roman or Brock won't stay down. And finally, he hits a second belt, belt shot with his second belt, in fact. And then they begin to pummel uh, or see a pile of furniture and tables and chairs, whatever else they can find, pile it on top of Brock's body. Michael Cole was so awesomely melodramatic for the love of god count faster brock can't breathe he's screaming and the usos all climb on top so the end they pin brock anyway in this last man standing match and they're off counted to 10 and roman retained there you go yeah, you I, know, I, my, my one word to describe this match was silly it, well it was silly it was wacky but you know what it was fun and uh i mentioned this with dave when aw advertises a barbed wire match what do you get Barbed wire, puncture wounds, blood, violence, the spider, whatever they call them. You know, if they advertised, a, a, you know, ring surrounded by fire match, the fucking there'd be fire everywhere. Dude would get burned. So, you know, I like that WWE did a last man standing match and they didn't half-ass it. <laughs> they, they delivered a last man standing match and they pulled out all the gimmicks and, you know, these fans, they like fucking tractors and people jumping off shit and the ring getting tipped and all that sort of stuff. So I thought by the end it was a big success. I hope Roman Reigns isn't hurt because fucking Brock's just throwing this poor fucker everywhere. Paul Heyman, you know, I, they build this as the last ever match between these two guys. And, of course, I don't buy it for a second. But Vince is gone. And so this actually might be their last ever match. And I think that Paul thinks it's their last ever match, and that's why he took an F5 through a table, because there's no other reason for Paul Heyman to take an F5 through a table. So I thought everybody was good. I thought it was a fun match. And uh, at the end of the day, they, they delivered. They delivered what was promised. So good for them. On top of the ultraviolence in this match, Paul Heyman, after taking the F5, and and especially during the celebration up the, up the walkway, as both Usos are holding him. Paul Heyman is selling this beating that he took, and it is so comical. And my son and I are just laughing at Paul Heyman. He's so great. I know this is a newsflash, but yes. he is so fantastic. So there you go, everyone. That was SummerSlam. Um. I don't know. I guess it's a thumbs in the middle show. If you, if, you, if you like the main event, it's a thumbs up show. That's for sure. I would say that this was, uh, I would say if you had uh, two hands, I would give it one thumb up. I thought they had a very good opener. I thought they had a very good main event. I thought most of the matches were fine to good. It was a little long, but hey, it was SummerSlam. I, I enjoyed this uh, thumbs up for me. I, um, I wasn't expecting much. Maybe that's why I guess they overdelivered. This is how the show begins, really. Oscar does a back kick, camera cut. She does a back fist, camera cut. She starts to run, camera cut. She hits a hip attack, camera cut. She drops to her knees, camera cut. She throws a kick, camera cut. She stands up and screams, camera cut to people brawling on the floor. I was furious. Do you understand? I wanted to shut the show off and not watch anymore. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, 
you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.